I'm Scott L. Miller. It's the 8th of September, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life living in Leon, Nicaragua. Today we're going to do some exploration, which I've not done yet, so I have no idea what we're going to find, of north, kind of eastern Calvarito. I believe that's the neighborhood we're in. We're going to start from the bridge. Hey guys, Future Scott here popping in for just a second. I've already recorded today's video and I think it turned out pretty well. So far I haven't found any problems. Uh, but while I was, I was looking at the maps and everything, right as we started this, I noticed that the actual barrio that we're walking in is Calvario. It is not Calvarito or the Little Calvary. This is the actual barrio of Calvario. So this is the slightly better known one um, and, and goes all the way over to the highway. I'm going to show a map of that really quickly. Uh, but we actually started in the corner at where the bridge comes over into Calvario. And I entered from the southwest corner and we start the walk from the northwest corner. So throughout the day, I did actually quite a bit of Calvario. Now I know where it is and why that was such a consistent throughout. You're about to see, right? This is coming up. But it, it ends up being a very consistent barrio experience and one that's really unique. So I'm I'm very surprised that that's ended up where we uh, where we ended up being, but that's what it is. So just letting you know, we figured out what it is. It's Calvario. And now back to Pascot. Let's go on that walk. And we're going to head on a pedestrian way that I've never seen. Absolutely no one ever comes to. And I think this is going to be really interesting. This is a cool part of the city that we never get to explore. And boy, the traffic is crazy. I'm actually out here in the morning. So we're going to get right to this right after the bump. <laughs> We're starting today's video on the Fifth Avenue Southeast Bridge that you can see behind me. This is where Fifth Avenue East goes south across the Rio Chiquito here in Leon, Nicaragua. And uh, this is an area of the city. This is deep in the barrio. We're, we're <laughs> pretty far from all of the downtown areas. And this is the area around Calvarito. So we're going to do some exploring today. I'm going to show you a little bit of what's here, just give you a, a kind of general feel. Now, we've walked in the more or less general area a few weeks ago, maybe two months ago. Uh, and we're going to kind of do a different zone today. So we're here on the bridge. There's a really cool restaurant right, right behind me. I'm going to show you in a second. First, we're going to bring up a map so you can see where we're starting to give you an idea. We're going to follow along the river this way behind me. There's this really interesting pedestrian way that Google just shows as a road, but it's like a sidewalk going along the river. Interesting. So we're going to check that out and see where it goes. And uh, we're going to take off from the bridge. I'm going to show you a restaurant. But before, I've already shown you the map, but now we're going to show you uh, one of the things that Calvarito is famous for here in Leon is the factory for fireworks, many factories for fireworks. And it was just, as I got started this morning, I came past one. So I wanted to show it to you so you guys could see what that looks like. This is one of the major ones really famous here in Leon. But that's enough of, of this. Let's actually get onto that path and see where it goes because this looks really interesting. This part of the city has some interesting spots that you don't find anywhere else, or at least I have not come across anywhere else. One of which you can see is the pedestrian way on 4th Street, which uh, we did maybe two, a year and a half to two years ago, and then did again with Martina a year and a half ago. Uh, but this time we're taking this completely different path, which is a pedestrian way, and it actually splits. So it's kind of like a sidewalk street system. So there's entire parts of this neighborhood that are only connected by footpath, and they go through this heavily wooded, it's not a park, it's really just, no, no, it's just a wooded area. So on this side of me, this is the river, the Rio Chiquito is right here, uh, and that makes it a little bit difficult to build on this side. So this is almost like a city parkway that goes along the river for a little while, and then there's this neighborhood that's off here, and there's an intersection we're coming up on. Again, there's no road here. This is just a pedestrian path, and it's beautiful. It's like a great, great sidewalk, but it also has huge drainage on either side. This is completely wild how it's designed. You can see the path completely changes as it goes up this way. This is north, and, uh, and it goes south as well, back towards these houses, but we're gonna continue Actually, we're going to go north because I want to go along the river, but it goes farther east here, too. Maybe we'll come back that way. This is so 
interesting. I, I really had no idea this was here. I had no idea anything like this was in the city at all. There's some, there's some neat city designing going on with this stuff. Now, obviously, paths like this are only gonna go so far because you gotta have cars to bring in food and supplies and stuff. So we've come up on a small road now uh, where this path connects to things. But there's like this, there's like these unofficial paths as well, which we're about, we're taking one. And this is crazy. So this is along the river. I had no idea this was up here. So these are huge bleachers and a basketball court. Like this is pretty wild. The river is right there on the other side of it. This is hidden totally. If you're not walking on this path, you would never know this is here. Even if you're in, on the road or in the parking lot right behind me, you would never see this. Okay, so I wanna go north along the river. That's kind of my goal today. I mean, you always have to have something to work on. I'm going up north along the river. So I'm skirting the river as I go and it's a small road, so it's now it's more than a pedestrian path, but it's it's a very tiny road. And when we were over on Fifth, there was loads of traffic, and now they're over here. It's quiet, and there's just there's just nothing. So again, the river is over here, but I am walking along a lot of structures. So this is a dense neighborhood right here, coming down to this weird little spot that I'm in. So I actually know some expats who live in roughly this neighborhood, Calvario or Calvarito. Uh, Calvario is, is kind of on the other side of the river up there. But in this general area, there are a few, even though it doesn't feel like the kind of place where you're gonna run into any. This is a really interesting area. It does get a bad rap for being a little bit more dangerous than other parts of the city. And that may be earned, right? I don't wanna, I don't wanna say that this is completely safe because I really don't know. Now where we are, this is interesting. Um, I wanna show this. Uh, the, the road here goes down a little bit. We're going along the river and this goes way up right here behind me. So this is completely different than what we've seen. I have no idea what's causing the rise in elevation. Suddenly on this road, the others didn't have this. This is one seriously interesting structure that I'm walking past and, and really all the houses next to it are really interesting as well. They come in on a weird angle to the road and because of the elevation change, they're tall on one side and this side, well, I guess they're tall on this side and they're at grade on the other. So it makes for a really interesting little area of homes. There's other spots in the city kind of like this um, and it's pretty neat. And on their other side of the road, so we can see the houses here and then the river's right here. So where I'm, uh, you probably can't hear it on the video, but standing here, you can hear the burbling brook kind of sounds that you get from it. So it's actually quite pleasant back here. And there's a lot of complaints. So <laughs> before you rush out and say, I'm going to buy one of these amazing spots right on the river. And actually this one's pretty cool. I got to show this. Not in... So ignoring the trash that's on the stairs, that is a neat, neat layout of a house with like the stair, like the whole style, very European. Now, before people rush out and go, wow, I'm gonna buy one of these and be up against the river in this cool neighborhood, be warned, this is, this is a very poor area. Um, this is potentially sketchy. I've gotten a lot of people tell me that it's sketchy out here that I shouldn't be walking. And I'm not saying I believe them, but it's plausible, right? Like, we'll, we'll take that as a, as a reasonable warning. But the more important thing is that um, there's a lot of complaints about the river being uh, a little bit smelly. And, and you know, I, people tell me, oh, it's so awful. I'm out here quite a bit along the river. I do notice it, it's real minor most of the time at least. I very rarely go along the river and go, oh, it's terrible. No, but it's not the pleasant river you might imagine. Uh, if you watch some of my videos, lots of trash goes, goes in there, a lot of runoff goes in there and uh, less than ideal. Now, if they clean that up, my gosh, these places would be beautiful if all of this got cleaned up and, and the river got cleaned. But that's a major undertaking. One I really hope happens in the city, but it's a very difficult thing to do. We're coming past another road, similar elevation here some point maybe we can walk all of these and really discover what's going on this is we're in the middle of the city i'm going to take a moment and step into the shade and i'm going to bring up another map for you guys so you can see it but this is the river again you can see the there's a fence on this portion and in front of us as we head north we'll leave this for a second so the map can go away there's a road but the road is overgrown like vehicles are not coming down that anymore and then there are houses up here, but definitely uh, shanties. So this is very rough part of town that we've, we've gone north into. So what's interesting, because I wanted to show the map, is just how 
just how center of the city we actually are up here. So this is interesting that we're, it feels very wooded, it feels very remote, and yet we're in the middle of the city and not far from the highway. I'm gonna get a little bit of this path. So there's a path going down to the river there and then this path that I'm on here. All right, this path is amazingly interesting as we head north. Like this is not what I was expecting at all. They do a good job of keeping the city pretty green, but this is not normally what they mean. This is like a full on path walking through a major part of the city. We're so close to downtown. We're so deep in the barrios that there's this much of feeling like you're out in the middle of nowhere is kind of crazy. So when we get through all of this, when we get through the brand, this was a little bit like brambly, right? It's like, I'm in sneakers and uh, it comes out to kind of a dead end road. I was able to come up and uh, ended up in a huge parking lot sort of thing. Like it's just an open space and uh, there's a road going back. You know, I don't have a ton of time today, so I'm gonna start heading back. I want, but this one, I'm glad we did this. This is cool. And we've got some ideas of things we wanna see in the future. I'm gonna head south on the next road uh, up here because it connects back and I can head back the way I need to go because I'm, I'm waiting on my, my kids who are at the dentist currently. That's why I'm doing this particular walk. Hola. All right, so I'm heading south. Boy, it's hard to keep my directions right from the big intersection. And this road is big enough that I saw cars going down it, but it is relatively small. So we're in a very tight area. And uh, on this side, we have small houses and businesses. Show a couple as we walk for a minute. Hi, Yeah, we're not And then on this side, there's this huge wall. So that parking lot area, like that big square was in front of this, but a ways back, so this is huge, whatever's in here. Maybe we can find it on the map and figure out what's here, but it's just this wall going as far down as I can see. So I'll put the camera back over here. It's way more interesting to see stuff going by on this side, but this is a well-pavered road, very quiet, definitely does not get a lot of traffic. It would not work, it's one, one vehicle at most. These quiet little interesting neighborhoods, they're cool. Oh, con permiso. Oh, we have a hole in the wall. Oh, it's just, just an open space, nothing interesting. It's just a wall. You're always hopeful there's like big secret science research facility back there. Nope, it's a wall. This is a really nice walk. It's very warm this morning though. Not, uh, what is the S? Not the day I would have picked to come out for a long walk, but I did need to do a video this morning and I need to get my exercise and everyone loves barrio walks. They're the best. Whew. All right, so we got an intersection, paved roads. Nice little spot. This is one of the streets. Hola. <laughs> they were excited. Um, so you can see it kind of goes, we're kind of at the, the peak here. And I want to show this intersection. And then this house is cool design. Then there's a business right down here. And that's where we walk by. It's just down that hill where you see the trees down below. That's where we went northbound. And I want to see what this place is because I can't. This is really my eyesight is going. Partially it's really bright. And when it's this bright, like there's no way for me to focus. That is, oh, it's a pediatric medical office. It really looks like it could be a hotel or something. That would have been more interesting. But like this is cool architecture that we're coming by here. Some of these streets are pretty nice. This is a kind of neat area, definitely different. Does not feel like you're in Leon. What are they have? Whew, I am sweating. Gets in your eyes out here. I really like these neighborhoods with the smaller streets because it means you're not getting through traffic. You're just getting the local local slow traffic. They're much safer. They're often pavered. It's really nice to walk around. Now out here, I don't know if it was obvious, we got houses on both sides as we came down the street. Swing back and forth so you get a little bit of a view. We had so many topical videos this week. Really glad we were able to come out and do a barrio walk and break things up today. I've been trying to walk more. Like my foot's good. I know it's been a long time. It's been almost, well, it's about over a year and a quarter since I broke it last May. 
but some people are always wondering like, how's your foot doing? Well, I still notice for sure, but it doesn't hurt. It's just, I can tell the toes are in different places than they should be. I hold my foot differently than I used to, but I think that's not from breaking it. I think it's from, from you know, babying it for a long time. So that'll work back over time, I assume. But I do notice, especially if I'm wearing shoes, I really don't notice, but if I don't wear shoes, uh, well, when I wear shoes, I notice that it wears differently than it used to. When I don't wear shoes, I notice that I stand awkwardly uh, that like it turns out a little bit more and I, I kind of twist it and put the weight a little bit more on the side uh, Definitely not like I used to so that's a that's a little bit of a change. I got some shade here, which is nice All right, so this way look I'm gonna show this. Yeah, you can see it. So that's just like a Curvy pedestrian sort of way going up that way and then uh, some kids walking down this way same kind of thing I And mean, we're just along. I don't know. We're gonna bring up. I'm gonna bring up a map I'm actually gonna pull a map out of my pocket and see what's going on here because I have no idea what exactly we're looking at. And I thought I knew where we were gonna go to walk back and now I'm slightly lost. So we're gonna look that up and figure out what's going on. But I think, I think I just came, oh, oh, we came up this way. I missed a turn. And so I need to look at a map and figure out how to get back in an interesting way. Cause we are, now I recognize where we are. Aha, not entirely sure how we did that. We're gonna figure this out. Okay, I magically teleported over a few blocks so that we start somewhere new and give the camera a little bit of time to cool down. Not very much, we're working it hard today. It is hot out here. Hot. I like this orange building behind me. We're gonna head south again, but this time on a real road. And uh, we're gonna head down and go through the same neighborhood, but in major streets. But first, here's where another part, remember we said we went north, but there was an eastbound part of the sidewalk. Here it is. So you can tell building along that, especially like that's a really nice sidewalk and that makes for a beautiful uh, side to like your house or whatever. So you get some really nice houses, especially along that kind of sidewalk. You're not gonna find tons of those uh, around anywhere, right? Like that's pretty rare. It's very European style to do something like that, uh, to kind of askew the, uh, the, the highway thing, have no real access by car. Now the ones that are against the road, of course they do, but those that are one house back, like it's a big pain to like get a delivery there or anything. And uh, to give that up, just to have that beautiful spot, that, that really nice walkway is really, really cool. And uh, I think you get some really neat stuff that way. But there aren't that many, right? Throughout the entire city, there's only gonna be a handful of places like that. Now, I will point out that we just came across another one. So let's turn, I think you can see me and it at the same time. Check this out, this is another, that goes way down. So this is an entire part of the city accessible through that. And we're gonna go across the street and show you guys a little bit over here as well. Because this is not just this one little piece. This is a whole neighborhood built this way. All right, so walking up this little road, this is an amazing little area. I can't believe how cool this is. And there are some really neat homes along here. Nothing nothing huge, but some really cute, some really interesting, if you want something like a completely, completely unique, quirky little hidden away home. The stuff you could potentially do with some of this is really, really neat, like seriously. So this is a great example of how much variety exists within a little area. Who would have guessed that stuff like this was, was reasonably available, was reasonably possible, and neighborhoods were like this in this part of so close to the middle of the city. Very, very cool. And I discovered in here a 24-hour veterinary emergency medical clinic. Who, who would have guessed that in a pedestrian area there would be that? Like, this is so cool. Buenas. ¿Cómo estás? If you're into big, grandiose homes, or you're into the, the formal thing, or you're into just traditional housing, this stuff is not gonna be for you. But, and check it out, another one. There's another one, this is amazing. Like, there's so many of these in this neighborhood. I had no idea. This is, this is a total discovery for me. We gotta come back another time and spend two, three hours and just map these out and do a ton of these, because this is amazing stuff. Really, really cool. All right, we've come on yet another of these. This one has a little park at the beginning. So I wanna show this to you because we have, that all these have steps going up to them, which is also really cool. So here's the little pedestrian way, but then there's this park right here. And then there's another pedestrian way over there. So it's like a boulevard pedestrian way thing with a park at the right on it. Like, wow, just so interesting.
one of this. So that goes up here. And then there's this neat looking house here. And then this way, there's more of a different style pedestrian way. So the amount of cars that you can bring through this neighborhood is actually very low, I think, compared to everything else. This is really an entire neighborhood designed very heavily around foot traffic. And I wanna show this church now as we come by. This is what we were seeing. Okay, this whole street I'm on, now I'm on the east-west road at the bottom of this neighborhood, or this like sub-neighborhood or whatever. I think we're past all the pedestrian ways. <clears throat> we still have a bit of elevation changes between the houses. And like the street behind me, which we don't have time to go down, it seems like it's got some promise of being kind of quirky. But the houses we're about to go past here on the side, definitely kind of quirky, to the point where I want to cross the road so you can get a good look at them. But there is a bit of traffic and a huge puddle that's causing a problem. All right, I can sneak across. Here we go. They're gonna splash me, I just know it. But check out these houses over here. Very interesting. Let's go back to the sidewalk, shall we? Let's not get run over. I've made it this far. We're not in a pedestrian way anymore, Scott. This is, this is how you die. Forgetting it's not a pedestrian way and getting run over. I think we all know that's how it's gonna happen. I am almost certainly, the chances in reality that I'm going to die on camera for you guys, it's quite high, like it's a thing, right? Like we've done somewhere in the vicinity of 2000 hours of recording and you guys see me when I'm out exercising, you see me when I'm out in the sun, you see me when I might be dehydrated, you see me when I'm in barrios and kind of less than safe areas or less than safe situations. You see me when I'm out in traffic and more likely to get run over or clipped by a car. Pretty much all the dangerous things I do in life, I do with my camera and you people hanging out in the little box at the end of my tripod. So there's a really high chance that when my time comes, you're all going along for the ride with me. You're gonna be like, wow, there he goes, oh my gosh. Did he survive this? And then Valentina's gonna pop up and be like, we're so sorry. I think we all have to admit that it's really funny that the camera died as I was explaining how I was likely to die on camera. And it would look basically just like that. Something would cut off and then Valentina will have to pop on and be like, I'm sorry, but he bled out on camera and we can't show it. And that would be the end of the show. But likely, likely someday in the future, that's what's gonna happen. But before then, before that happens, take a moment to scroll down below and leave your pre-condolences uh, or comments or questions or, or whatever down. Scroll down, if you're on a TV, you have to go to a computer to do that. But if you're on a computer, just scroll down. There's all that comment section. It's great, interact with other people, say hi hi, whatever. If you'd like to support the show, of course, buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. I'm actually off to Dr. Coffee to get my kids a coffee right as I finish recording this so you can help support our caffeine habit and make this show possible. It is much appreciated. If you're looking for uh, guidance, assistance, whatever, on moving to Nicaragua or anywhere in Latin America, shoot us an email, info at relocatenicaragua.com. We're, we're keeping up with that now and very happy that that email is working. So definitely shoot us an email. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, share on social media, let us know what you think, tell your friends, tell your family, and I will see all of you tomorrow.